Right, I will now come to a very interesting question. Um, as we all know that, and I think you would agree with me, um, Lincoln Corners in Pakistan, each corner has its own personality. We are perhaps, you know, have our own strengths and there are areas where we want to improve. Um, being a coordinator for such a long time, and I must admit the fact that I guess you're one of the most senior coordinators in all the American centers in Pakistan. Um, so what would you say about Eleanor Roosevelt Corner? What is the personality of the Lincoln Corner at which you are supervising? Oh, uh, I must say uh, Eleanor Roosevelt Corner is, is, is a big platform for the females of Heber Pakhtunkhwa. <laughs> Girls who are not allowed to go to co-ed institutes, they come to our university. So they are the girls who uh, have certain dreams. And when they come to the corner, I, I really see them uh, like really happy and contented to be a part of this university then and being in the corner. And as far as Eleanor Roosevelt Corner is concerned, I would say... Um, it's 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 making a huge difference in in the lives of all these girls who are studying at the university. It's providing them opportunities which they would not have been able to get anywhere else if the corner would not have been there. So I I um, I usually say that uh, Virginia Woolf in her uh, one of her books, A Room of One's Own, she says that uh, a woman needs to have financial independence and a room of her, her own to be herself. Mm -hmm. uh, I think Eleanor, Eleanor Roosevelt Corner is playing that role. I would say it's a room of one's own for all the females of Hebra Pakhtunkhwa. Right. It provides us the opportunity to be ourselves, to dream, to achieve our dreams and to do whatever we feel like doing in terms of education or uh, sessions or reading or whatever, I think the U.S. Embassy is really helping us out uh, in making us, uh, uh, like equipping us with certain, like with all the things that we need to help these girls achieve their dreams. So I think Corner is playing a huge fantastic, role. Fantastic, fantastic. That's great. Uh, right. Uh, Madam Binish, thank you very much for being with us at Creator Studio. Uh, it's one of our early podcasts. So it's an honor for us that you have joined us today. I know you have a very busy schedule these days, uh, but you have spare time and here with us. That's really, really nice of you. Thank you very much. And one last thing uh, before we end this podcast, is there any message that you would like to give? Yeah, sure. First of all, I would say thank you for inviting me. Uh, I, it's, 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 it's an honor for me. Believe me, one thing that I really like is um, talking to uh, people. Uh, and if in any capacity I can help them with my experiences, I would love, always love to do that. Yeah, one thing that I would like to, uh, a message that I would like to give the audience is don't stop dreaming. Dream. Because it's your dreams that make you achieve whatever you want to achieve. And yes, in order to have your dreams come true, there are three things that you need. And this is what I do. Passion. And the first question that you asked me and I told you, it's my passion that makes me going. But then with passion, you need persistence. That's must. And then last is patience. In order to make things happen, you need to have patience too. With that, I would like to end. And thank you once again for inviting me, Sashan. Most welcome. Thank you very much once again.